Hi, Sister Karazu. We have here a GMAT probability question. Let's read the question. When tossed, a certain coin has an equal chance of landing on either side. If the coin is tossed four times, what is the probability that it will land on the same side each time? If you're familiar with probability, you know that this question is not very difficult, okay? But let's not assume anything here. The language of probability is different from really the language we're used to okay so it is important to learn the language here and once you do you realize that this is not a difficult question but we must be careful okay we are asked to find the probability that the coin will land on the same side okay the same side here each time let me change color now you know that in order for the coin to land on the same side we need to have one of two scenarios either we can have head 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 or we can have tail tail and tail let's write that down so we have two scenarios the first scenario is slide it down is to have head 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 and head because four times okay four times here or we could have you guessed it tail 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 and tail okay we are told that the probability of uh, one face being on uh, on top is is basically the same. You have equal chance of having one face landing or on having the coin landing on either side. Okay, and right here it is important. So it means that the probab probability, sorry, of having a of H, for example, the head is one half. Okay, and it's one half again here, and so on. And for the tail, the same thing. We're gonna need have one half, obviously, one half, one half, and one half. Now, within a, a scenario, we need to have head and head and head and head. So we need to multiply the probability. We need to multiply them because this has to happen. Okay, there is no choice within a scenario. And if you multiply this, as you can see, we get 1 over 16 of your z, 2 to the power 4. But also here, we're going to get 1 over 16. Now, since we have two different scenarios, the first or the second, we're going to need to add the result. Not multiply them, we're going to need to add them. Okay? And if you add these, we're going to get uh, 2 over 16, which is 1 over 8. Okay? 1 over 8. We are adding, because as I said again, we have two different scenarios. It's a choice. This one or that one. But within, within a scenario, we need to multiply. And we need to multiply again because we must have this and this and, you know, and so on. And that is the reason why it's important to make that distinction. You know, when you do multiply and when you do add. And sometimes you got to do both, like here. You have to multiply within a scenario and then we need to add. Okay? Great. So, we're going to write P is just the probability we're looking for is 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16 which is just 1 over 8, as I said, 2 over 16 if you want, and P equal 1 over 8. And that is our answer. Let's change color. Okay. So, as you can see, that is C. C, correct answer. That's it. It wasn't that difficult. I think the difficulty here was really to distinguish between these two cases. You know, most people sometimes, uh, you know, they have a tendency to write uh, 
basically just one of them and forget the other one. Maybe they write same as SSS and find that it's 116. No, you need to consider two different cases. And by the way, this is just one technique to find uh, this probability. We could have used a different technique to find it. That could have been faster, but uh, this is good enough. This is good enough, okay? Thank you, Sister Karazu.